All right, we are recording. And uh, check out my steed for the day. 2021 Yamaha Tenere 700 from Colorado Motorcycle Adventures. Couldn't film the test ride, so I'm doing my own test ride. <laughs> and I'm gonna actually get to go off-road. Yeah, the standing position is just so perfect for me. But I am heading over to Rampart Range Road so that I can test out this bike off-road. There we go. All right. miss that turn a lot. I mean, it, this thing just pulls like a tractor from like 2,500 RPM all the way up. Standing position on this is just perfect. Yeah, this bike is just very easy to ride. It doesn't fight you. That's pretty. It doesn't try and buck around and get squirrely and make you work hard. Like, you just ride it. Like, you can just forget. On the 690, I always have to keep track of what gear I'm in. Because if I'm not in the right rev range, either I'm lugging it out or I, you know, I'm super high strung and I'm going to spin the rear wheel. On this, it's like I just don't even need to care what gear I'm in. Because it'll just do its thing. The South Platte Hotel. I think they're out of business. Oh, good dude. What are you doing? I'm gonna back up down the middle of a bridge. That's smart, especially right around a blind corner. And honestly, the clutch still isn't even bad. I would still do the uh, one-fingered clutch thing. Mm. Ah, B just stung me. God Alright, I got the stinger out. That hurt. Right on the neck. Yeah, shifting while standing is pretty damn easy. The body position is real easy. Damn, Yamaha. You, you guys did a really good job. I wish you hadn't taken, you know, three years to get this bike out. But damn, you did a good job. Yeah, this bike is just so easy to ride well. There we go. And the way that this bike is set up, when you turn off ABS, you turn off all of the ABS. It's front and rear, so there's no uh, off-road ABS where it keeps the front wheel on. It's just all or nothing. Which is fine. I mean, I'm used to not having ABS, so that's nothing new. Oh, God. Yeah, that's where the suspension could use some work. 
the rebound and damping on this is not set very well. But it's not my bike, so you know, there's I'm sure it's set to pretty much stock. Yeah, this is about like some of the stuff on the BDR. Not really difficult, just technical enough to make it interesting. That was one of the things I found out with the KTM. It's not really happy until you start pushing it harder. And the harder you push it, the happier it is. Which is not quite the feel that you get with this bike. But it can definitely handle you pushing it harder. Grab the middle. Oh, I want over here. Yeah, this is just a really easy bike to ride well. It's not like it's doing the work for you. You know, you don't have traction control or any of that stuff but the bike just helps you out. It doesn't want to spin out or do a bunch of the stuff that other bikes like to do when you're off-road. It just wants to go. This is also about as heavy as this bike gets, given that I'm still full of gas. You know, it's not gonna get much heavier than this, except with luggage. Yeah, I'm not a huge fan of these tires, but they're getting the job done. You feel the weight here and there. I mean, if you need to suddenly change direction, you can't just kind of throw the bike over. <laughs> I wouldn't call it a big dirt bike, but it has its moments. All right, down in a second, let's just crawl up this hill. all banked out pretty nicely actually ditch there oink and back over shifting is so easy <laughs> Yeah, picking your line is super easy. Oh, where am I going? I'm going this way. Whoa. Oop, killed it. <laughs> I was in third gear, so can't really be surprised. Yeah, getting my nav tablet onto here would be nice. I'd definitely be able to see where I was going better. Oh, here comes the main road. And I'm clear. This is one of those bikes you can forget to shift. It's, it's just so smooth no matter where you're at. Oh, dog! over train your animals or don't have them off leash if I hadn't braked hard I'm pretty sure I would have center punched that damn pit bull which I didn't want to do oh boy god that's a big old run up this on the 690 before if I'm remembering this correctly which I might not be but that's all right I'm going hard turn oh that was very sideways
yeah, I definitely did this. Because I remember coming down this and being like, wow, this is kind of sketchy. It's still fun though. God, this bike just tractors up anything. A few moments later. All right, back up to Rampart Range. Decided I'm gonna get gas in, in Colorado Springs because I really don't need it yet. <sighs> yeah, I really like this bike. Feels like the front wants to just tuck. They're okay for most stuff, but you didn't any kind of loose stuff, but if the front end just dives on you. Let's go second, I guess. That's a lot easier from this direction. Oh boy. Oh, I that up. And I'm still fine. That's really rutted out. Holy crap. <laughs> There were some rock steps in there I wasn't expecting. <laughs> but yeah, bike handled it fine. No surprise there. My hand's getting tired with the cable clutch. But yeah, I think that kind of highlights the uh, forgiving nature of this bike. My line choice was pretty shit there. But the bike, you know, doesn't want to get sideways or twist the handlebars or anything like that, it just wants to go. Oh. Yeah, it's just easy. Jackets on. I oh, really no, don't. Ready for yeah, right. Trump 2024. Yeah, right. He's more likely to be elected to prison than president. 